Hello, hello guys, welcome on this sunny morning. Well, it's March, just beginning of March. And uh, I got pretty much all the side of my cloth sorted when the fruit's gonna be. But this is when the hardest work starts. So this is when I have to build seven beds. This is where all the vegetables are gonna be. So I'm gonna have overall seven beds. They're gonna be all eight meters long and the beds will be 30 inches wide. In between, I'm gonna have pads which will be 25 inches wide. So as you can see, those pads are quite big, almost as wide as, as the beds. Okay, so I'm doing beds this way. Well, it's easy to maintain them because you can easily cross over the beds. You, so don't, you don't have to go around them. Uh, the other thing is that if you have beds exactly the same size, it's easier to plan crop rotation each year. And also it's easier to plan how many vegetables will fit into each bed. And you can see me doing this in my spreadsheets which are available online. Um, so if you are starting with uh, growing vegetables, that might be very helpful. Um, another thing is that um, if you buying any kind of covers, like for example, you buy, you might buy the bed netting and you might buy the uh, Enviro mesh, you can buy them in exactly the same size and they will uh, fit on each of your beds. So depending on your crop rotation each year, you might be using different covers on different beds. Now, the one thing I'm gonna change this year is the pads. So pads were, Last year pads were 18 inches wide and it was okay for most of the time but I struggle a bit uh, when I was weeding because um, uh, you know especially with the big brassicas it was hard to see all the weeds under those big leaves so this year I hope that with pads which will be 25 inches wide it's gonna get a bit more easier. Okay let's get busy so this is what I'm using a lot of wooden stakes and uh, wool string Usually what I'm doing is trying to measure everything up and use the wool string to give me idea uh, where are the beds, where are the pads. Um, so here for example you see me measuring up the uh, path. Next thing uh, is one of the hardest really. Uh, this is where I'm scraping the soil from the path uh, to the bed. After that, you have to weed the beds. I would say at least twice at the beginning, but also don't don't worry too much. You know, you're gonna see a lot of uh, stones, a lot of big roots. Um, but remember that you're gonna be weeding those beds uh, throughout the whole season. So eventually, you're gonna get rid of all those things anyway. Now next is uh, adding uh, compost or in my case here, I'm adding horse manure. Um, so, you know, just try to add as much as you have uh, and then eventually just try to incorporate this into the soil. Now, one extra step I'm doing is I'm growing weeds, guys. Yes, that's what I'm doing at the beginning of the season. Um, you see, I'm, I'm trying to uh, water all those weeds and what I'm gonna do next is cover them with the tarp. So what that's gonna do is uh, it will encourage the heat which will be under the tarp uh, will encourage weeds to grow. So I'm hoping that through that I'm gonna get rid of the first flush from the weeds before I'm gonna start sowing vegetables. I think this, this is called stale seedbed technique. Okay, so at the end of this video, here is the quick summary of all the steps that I'm doing to prepare the beds. And as always, guys, feel free to ask any questions in the uh, comments. And I hope you're going to have a great week and I see you next time. Take care. Bye.